Aster. Let season bloomers are basically a way for nature to arrange for the survival of insects and birds that rely on flowers. The aster, for example, is a reliable late bloomer of the fall season on which released the monarch's butterfly. Their fall migration is dependent on the fuel that these butterflies get from the flowers. Anemone The Greek philosophers Theophrastus gave the name anemone to this flower. Within the perennial border, there are great late season bloomers that come in a range of colors from white to carmine red. They bloom from the start of July until the frost comes in. Anemones are also known as daughter of the wind because it is the wind that helps to open up the flower. Fall Crocus The Fall Crocus is also called the Autumn Crocus and it is one of the few flowers that bloom through all the harsh winter climate. Interestingly, when found at the higher altitudes, they protrude from the snow. They come from a family that comprises of 90 species of perennials that grow from corms. The autumn blooming species of the flower is also a producer of the expensive spice called saffron. Black-eyed Susans Black-eyed Susans come from the sunflower family. They are native to North America and one of the most popular wild flowers grown in the USA. Since 1918, it has been the state's flower in Maryland. This flower has been used for traditional herbal medicine, just like Echinacea. Some species of fungi grow on the roots of the black-eyed Susan. These flowers are also known as glorious daisy, possibly because of the resemblance. They are available in various shades of yellow, golden, and orange. Imagine a load of gold in the flower bed, shimmering through the winter days. It is enough to liven up the day, don't you think? Sedum Autumn Joy Autumn joy is a plant that everyone loves. It blooms in August or September if planted in the beginning of the year. It is dependable for the winter garden as it shows off its bloom through all the fall season up to November. When the winter sets in, sedums opens as a pink flower but as it matures through the season, it then scoper. There are many kinds of sedums but the best known is autumn joy. It is taller than most other species and grows up to 18 until 24 inches high and the same in width. It is succulent and will tolerate drought like most sedums. Roses Roses are the most popular flowers in our opinion because they are primarily used for evening the needs flower. From birthday to funerals, there is a different color and a different style of roses that is used for decor and solemn reasons. Some species of the rose bloom in the spring and then again bloom in the fall season. Grandiflora, hybrid tea, and floribunda are to name a few of these. Roses are only one of the best flowers to keep in your gardens this fall. They are also the best representation of love. So blindfold your partner one weekend and bring them out to experience a beautiful rose bush.
Clematis. Fall is a good time to plant clematis flowers because they will bloom through spring, summer and the fall. If planted at the right time in the spring, these flowers will have enough time to set in and then bloom in the winter, thus inducing a lively appeal to your garden in the winter. Won't it be amazing to look out of the window for snow and then find the clematis blooming somewhere near the white seed? The common name for this flower is Old Man's Bird.